Morning everyone, it's John and Vic. Let's have a look at this Adria Supersonic 890LC. So, some really, really nice features and I'll take you around the back end in a minute. But it's based on the Mercedes, so you have got the different uh, options for your manual and your 9-speed auto, etc. But you guys know that. Let's nip around the side, some really interesting features. So as you can see, you've got your outdoor hookup point. Just have a look in that box. And there's your outdoor TV point, so you can have your satellite and uh, your TV if you're sitting outside. Underneath this nice, beautiful, super long canopy. As you can see, it's got the full length fridge freezer because your air vents are at the side. And take note of these alloys. Now, I've not seen those on a motorhome yet, but um, they're a cracking, cracking cut alloy. As we come round to the back, you've got a heated garage, particularly in this area. And again, I've not noticed, but the garage door 85 by 120. So you really can get a lot of stuff inside and out. Tie down straps, you can have your shower in the back, you can get your bikes in there. So a cracking bit of space. Now, I know we've got an electric wire coming down the back, but it doesn't take away from the fact that this Adria Supersonic has got a beautiful back end. Look at that. The lights particularly, a little bit like Knight Rider. I actually love that. And again, let's just nip round, just give you an area of how much space is actually in this. Now it has got a drop up and down bed, as you can see with the hydraulics, but enough of the outside. Let's go inside. Hi everyone, so here I am inside the Adria. As you can see, one of my little things that I do like is we do have an armrest that pops in and out of the seat. So as Heather comes in, you can see the cab area, because it's based on that Mercedes, it's just as sunny as before. We're really liking how they've got a black leather as well. We're really liking that coming more into style. It's just more user friendly and it really pops as well. Above, we've got the drop down bed, which is lovely engraved just there with the lighting as well. As we flip round, now, this is textured and that's a, a lovely feel as you can feel when I'm running my nails over it. With a lovely texture to go throughout. So you've got the leather, you've got the texture on the wall, you've got the stainless steel here. Another thing that I do like, covers the sink, it's a shopping board, which is really nice, that wooden feel is. Follow it down, we've got the soft closes. Another what you might find when we did look at the cab. This is a left hand drive. So obviously buying it in the UK, it would be switched over. As we move from the kitchen, we come into the shower area. Now, this is very sauna-esque looking. As you can see on the inside, if I just look through the glass, you've got a lovely the wooden theme going throughout. And that different texture again, you've got solid black, more of a marble effect. Nice hanging rail section in here, which is something we like to pinpoint on. As I bring Heather this way, which we've got a lot more room to do that in this one, we'll flip brown as soon as she moves in. <laughs> And that was more difficult than I thought. Don't pick two people in the alley. As you can see, we've got the lovely bathroom. Now, once again, stainless steel, the grey flats, the different pattern on the floor, and also the toilet has a lot of room in there as well. A nice cupboard to press, which is lovely. So you've got that sleekness going throughout, and then obviously you've got your privacy door either side or in the galley. Now, as we come back out, and then we'll go back in to see the bedroom. Here we have. See, so it does pull up at the back, and it's your double island bed at the back. Now, John, what do you think? It does say on here, our beds are the comfiest, why don't you try them? For me, it's a bit soft for me. Personally, it's a little bit too soft. I don't know, I like a hard bed. Yeah, I'm um, more but that's, that, that's a bit soft, but. Uh, yeah, either way, this bed does drop up and down as well, doesn't it? Because I would yeah. need to have a run and a jump just to get onto it. Um, for those Very that are nice. taller. As you can see, obviously I'm standing on the step and how close I'm off here. What I do like as well, that grey fleckle print is just in the back here as well. Yes, really nice back lights on the window as well. So you get that ambient light. What I find sometimes I'm dying in the bedroom, especially on the island bed, it's a bit seedy at times, whereas they're just bringing that freshen it up a lot at the moment, which is nice. What I think they've done nice as well is they've not just put like the roof vent actually stuck to the roof, they've actually used it as the lighting underneath it. Yeah. So like almost like a pelmet light. 
and like you say that velour on the walls and the windows it kind of deadens the sound a little mm. bit which from a design point of view i think is really clever yeah definitely let us know what you think in the comments below i'll be sad, Drea.